Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another Amazon favorites. These are very popular on YouTube right now. It seems like everybody wants to know what everybody's buying on Amazon. Literally, Amazon has everything that we could ever imagine needing, and that is my go-to place to shop. Even when I'm in the stores, I find myself going on Amazon to see if it's cheaper there because I'd much rather buy it on Amazon, have it shipped to me in two days, than buy something that's five, ten dollars more in Target, Walmart, or whatever. If you have not seen my first Amazon favorites video where I have like literally 30 products that I go through, I will leave that linked down below for you so you can watch that one after this one. But since then, of course, I have purchased many more things and I have lots more to show you and to share with you. So we're going to jump right into it, but make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell. Now let's get started. So the first thing I am going to share with you today is my Sony uh, A5100. I think. <laughs> I actually forgot the name of it. I use this to vlog. So this camera is amazing. It has a flip screen right here so you can see yourself when you're taking a picture or recording. It has a lot of great features to it. I absolutely love it. I also got this tripod stand from Amazon as well and I wanted white on white to match. This is what it looks like. I just checked on the tripod for you but currently it is unavailable but I still will leave it linked below for you in case it comes back in stock because I really like the white look. It does get dirty with my makeup fingerprints, so I have to wash it quite often, but it does wipe clean. And then this is not part of the camera. This is a case, and the other half of it is somewhere. This is the other half of it, so it clips on to the bottom and then goes over. <laughs> I'm doing this backwards. It goes on like that to protect the lens, and then it has a strap as well, so if you want to carry it when it's not on the stand. The camera case is $9.99, and when I bought it, it was not prime, but now it is prime. Real quick, I wanted to touch on the camera. This is a great vlogging camera. It is one of the less expensive options. A lot of cameras are $1,000 or more. This one runs at about $500. It gets hot after you are filming for more than 20 minutes, and it will shut off on you. So if you need this, like if you want to do YouTube and you need this to film with you for like an hour or longer, then this probably wouldn't be the best option. You should get a DSLR for that, but for vlogging or just basic Instagram pictures, this is incredible. The next thing that I have set up in my studio is a ring light, and I got this also from Amazon, and it comes on a stand so you don't have to, you know, figure out how to set it up on your table. It just comes on a stand, and my camera sits right in the middle of it, and I will insert a clip right here to show you what it looks like. If you are doing YouTube videos or you're really into makeup and you want to have better lighting in your makeup room, then this is a great option for you. It has a dimmer as well, so it can get lower and brighter. I haven't had any problems problems with mine. I absolutely love it. It is a great investment and it has really changed the lighting in my YouTube room compared to my first few videos and then compared to this now. The lighting is day and night. It's incredible. Incredible change. I absolutely love this. So the ring light is $90 and it's an 18 inch ring. The next thing on my list is this rose gold iPhone holder and your iPhone charger or phone charger can go through this slot and come up through the bottom so that way you can sit your phone down like this. I don't want it to fall and charge your phone while it sits on your desk in front of you. So I like to play my music while I'm doing my makeup, and so this is perfect. And also, I have the iPhone X, so all I have to do is look at my phone when a notification pops up without touching my phone to see what the notification says. So it can see my face from where it's sitting on the, on the table. So literally, I just have to turn my head and look, and then it shows me what my text says, which is very convenient. I think that was only $8. The next item on my list to share with you are these headphones. I bought headphones a while back from TJ Maxx to uh, take to the gym with me because let's be real, who can work out without music? I mean, this is what they look like. They are matte black, which I am obsessed with. They're very nice quality. The base is incredible. The charge lasts for eight hours. They go over your ear, so I can jump around. I can be on the treadmill, elliptical. I can do my weightlifting, and I don't have to fix them at all, which is what I love. So. Like I said, the ones that I bought at TJ Maxx were a cheaper, no, actually, the ones that I bought at TJ Maxx were the Sony ones, and I saw those on Amazon, and they're $80, and when I bought them at TJ Maxx, they were like 20 and they will not stay in my ear. I gave them to Austin for him to bring to the gym with him, and he was like, those things suck, because they don't stay in your ear, they fall out. So I had to look for more options, and I spent like hours searching for headphones on Amazon. I also love how they come in a case, because 
I can just throw this in my gym bag and they're not going to get lost or tangled or destroyed. But as I was saying, I searched for hours on Amazon trying to find the best headphones that had the best reviews and these reviews were great and I tried them out for myself and I love them. The next gym item that I have is this barbell pad. I believe that's what it's called. You stick this over the bar so when you're doing squats and you need some cushion on your shoulders, I, I the only reason why I bought this, my I mean I have enough padding on my back so the bar doesn't hurt me because I'm like flexing the whole time. But when I'm doing my hip flexors with a heavy bar right on my hip bones, I couldn't do it because the bar was like that's really painful. So I needed one of these to take to the gym with me to be able to do my hip flexors with heavy weights and it has saved my life. It's great material. This is going to last forever. It was only $11. Like I will never need to buy another one again because this is like heavy duty, really thick and cushiony and it's matte black which I love so it matches my headphones. But yeah, this is a great item to have if you're big into weightlifting and you just need some comfort with it. Now heading over to beauty. I buy my Bria Geo Leave-In Detangular from Amazon as well. It is $20. This lasts me for two months. I use it after every single shower. It smells really good. It makes my hair feel amazing. It has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. You can buy from the Brio Geo website, but they don't have two-day free shipping. Amazon does, and Amazon has this, so that's where I buy it from. The next item that I have is this funky pink wig and the Styrofoam head. Both of these came from Amazon. It sits on my bookshelf in my beauty room, and it has natural waves to it. I don't know. This is a really high-quality wig. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to wear it for Halloween this year. I want to I want to be somebody so I can just wear this because it's I mean who doesn't love pink hair? Like I wish that I had hair like this. So yeah, I always go on Amazon to look for wigs. They're very cheap and every wig that I have purchased has been great quality. This is another wig that I bought. How fun is this? I also want hair like this. This is why I buy wigs because I just like to have different hair all the time. I might do like a, a complete YouTube video wearing one of these wigs and just not say anything and like see what you guys think. <laughs> But yeah, um, it feels really good. It does get very tangly. Again, I only paid, I paid under $20 for this. So I mean, whatever. But I got a long neck styrofoam head to store it on so I don't like leave it in a drawer and it gets all yucky. I wanna wear this more often. The next thing, super random, but I figured I would share it with you, are these silicone ice trays. They're very small squares. I didn't know that they were gonna be this small when I got them in the mail, so I was kinda of disappointed in that, but they do have different sizes. The reason I got this is because I like to give my dogs coconut oil every day. It's really healthy for them. So I wanted to pour warm coconut oil in here and then stick it in the freezer for it to get hard and make little squares. That way I could just pop one out and then pop it in their mouth for them every day. It just makes it a lot easier instead of opening the coconut jar taking out a spoonful, you know, it just kind of saves my life that way. So I got a three pack. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but I will leave it linked below for you. And that is what I use them for. But if you like really small ice cubes, like pop them in your mouth and chew on ice cubes, which your dentist doesn't recommend. But if you're one of those, then this would be a great option for you. The next thing, I actually purchased this from somebody else's Amazon favorites video. And I don't remember who it was. If I can find that video, I will leave it linked below for you. But this is a key organizer. So I have, I have a bunch of keys. I hate ugly, clunky keychains. Keychains? <laughs> keychains. I don't like how ugly they are. So I wanted something that would look really good in my Louis Vuitton bag. And I am obsessed with this camel color, so I got this one. But they have other colors. They do have black. I was torn between camel and black. But I just leave the, my big key out, and then I have my other ones in there, and it buttons. And then that just looks really clean and sharp in your bag. They have six hooks, so I just leave my gym membership ones on one, my Kroger card on the other, and then my three house keys. That way, it's super easy to find. It just lays it out really nice for you. It also has a slot in here if you want to put money or a credit card. Okay, all of those are slots, which I don't use it for that, but that is an option. And they have this doodad right here as well if you need that but I don't use that and the last thing that I have to share with you today is this ring light and it clips onto your phone so if you need to take selfies my phone was just did you not see that red dot it looked like somebody was like hacking my phone and recording me that was the creepiest thing I really hope that that's not what was happening anyway as I was saying this clips onto your phone and it lights up so you can take selfies. Now I would light it up for you, but mine broke because I dropped it. 
and I think I like dropped it one too many times because it won't light up for me anymore but it was really cheap I can order another one I've had this for like two years now and it's just a staple of mine that's why I decided to include it in this video because if you're a selfie taker you need one of those and that is all for my Amazon favorites video I really hope that you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up for me it's a really nice thing to do and I really appreciate it please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and that the notification bell is clicked thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and wear bold lip colors, especially because now it's fall and you can get away with it. But this is totally out of my comfort zone and I'm not used to seeing myself with dark lips. If I look really weird, let me know in the comments below to not do this again. Because <laughs> I need someone's honest opinion and I know my husband probably won't tell me what he really thinks.